Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you are a return viewer subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. Today, what we're going to talk about is creating a site-to-site -site VPN between two UDMs, whether it's a UDM Pro or a standard UDM or a mix of the two or even more, that's what we're going to cover. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and we'll talk about some of the prereqs and things like that or things that make it easy, especially since it's the Unify gear, but let's hop on over to the computer and take a look. All right, so let's talk a little bit about our setup before we get into this. So what I've got here is I've got a UDM Pro and then a standard UDM. They each have a switch plugged in, and then there are PoE devices. Uh, some of them are cameras, some of them are access points. I just used an icon here to represent devices plugged into a switch, plugged into each of my Unify Dream Machine devices. Now, my WAN IP, since I'm emulating the internet internally, I do have RFC addresses on the WANs. Now, in the real world, IPsec works best if you have non-RFC or routable IP addresses on your WAN. Uh, with Unify, it's going to be a huge crapshoot if you have to do port forwarding through another router. If you're double NATed, this is really not for you. We've got another setup that really works for double NAT, and I'm going to do a video on that here shortly. But for now, the two things that make this the easiest are static IPs and not being double natted. So let me put that up here in the text. All right, so please note that this works best with static IPs and no double NAT. Uh, it, you will likely not be able to get it to work if you're double NATed. If you don't have static IPs, if you have dynamic IPs, you'll probably be able to get this to work. However, you cannot use FQDNs with Unify for IPsec VPN, and you'll see that here in a second. So let's take a look at uh, the UDM Pro. Right now, the WAN IP is 192.168.66.206 on the UDM, the standard UDM, the WAN is 172.16.1.25. We've got the internet here, and the LAN side of the UDM Pro is 192.168.222.0 slash 24. Standard UDM is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So let's hop over here, and you're gonna see, this is a newer dashboard. People have been asking about this dashboard. So these are both in my lab. So the standard UDM has 19 clients in the lab and the UDM Pro right now has four clients in the lab. And what we wanna do is we want to create a site-to-site -site VPN between these devices so that we can access the LANs and the devices without having to do port forwarding on the internet. So what we've got to do is we've got to go over here, we're going to go into settings, and we're going to do each side at a time. So we'll do the UDM Pro first, and then we'll hop over here and do the UDM Base. Now, this does work whether you've got a UDM Pro on each side, uh, standard UDM on each side, or a mix of devices. This will also work if you have USGs. So let's hop over to settings. We're going to go to networks. And we are going to create a new network here. And we are going to call this our site to site VPN. It is going to be a site to site VPN. You can see the auto VPN does not work with UDM, so we're going to do manual IPsec. Remote subnet is going to be the LAN side of the standard. So that's 192.168.2.0. So 192.168.2.0 slash 24. You need the subnet mask there. 
peer IP. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So you cannot use an FQDN here. You have to use an IP. So if you've got static IPs, this works best. It will work if you have a routable IP, a non-RFC IP that's dynamic. However, if it changes, your VPN is going to break and now you're going to have to go back and fix this peer IP. So we are going to put in our static IP of the WAN, 172.116.1.25. And for local WAN IP, here we could put in our static IP, or if we've got a dynamic IP and we don't want to keep changing that, we could put in 0.0.0.0, because that tells it, you know, whatever is on that WAN IP to use that. Um, here we'll go ahead and put in the 192.168.66.206, 192.168.66.206. Pre-shared key needs to be the same on each side. So we're just going to make this VPN 2019-2020. And I'm actually going to copy that. Then we'll expand advanced options. You can change the entire setup of everything here. Um, the one thing that I've seen sometimes cause issue is the dynamic routing. So we're going to leave it checked to see if the VPN comes up. If it doesn't, we'll come in here and uncheck that. But for now, yes, I know some of the hashes, the ciphers, all that stuff needs to be adjusted. That's a whole other video that we need to talk about. For now, I'm just going to leave it default and go ahead and click save here. So now you can see it's created our site to site VPN on the UDM Pro. So now we need to hop over to the base and we need to do the same thing, except we need to put in the other information for the pro. So let's uh, get this set up. Once again, that's manual IPsec. We're going to put in our remote subnet. Trying to do this one handed. So forgive me for the clumsy, the clumsy bit of that for being clumsy. Then we're going to put in our WAN IP of the UDM. And we'll put in our WAN IP here. Make sure I got that right. 25, yep. We're going to paste in that pre-shared key. Leave everything else default. And we're going to save it. So now, in theory, this... VPN is up and now I am plugged into one of these networks. So let's pull up a command prompt and see where I am plugged into. So I am on the UDM Pro side. So let's take a look at the clients that are on the 192.168.2 side. And let's just uh, pick one. Um, 2.6, which is an Elgato light. And there it's working. So we are now pinging across the VPN. So let's do a trace route and see what happens here. By the way, in Traceroute, the hyphen D makes it so it doesn't do DNS lookups on this. But you can see we hit our gateway, and then we hit the uh, other side of the connection, and then we hit 2.6. So that's it. It was really that easy. Like I said, as long as all the pieces fall into place, this will work perfectly. If not, there's other things that have to be done or other types of VPNs. So we'll go over that in another video. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, please go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you want to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are all down below. Don't feel pressured to do that. It is appreciated, and it does kick a couple bucks over to the channel. So once again, I want to thank you all for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.